Hi, I'm Martin Schimpf. I want to talk to you about a project that is sort of getting started in Gabriel's lab. Um, basically, the question is, or well, the big question is, how does the brain perceive visual information? And often when we ask the question, uh, it is asked, how does the brain perceive single objects? Uh, so for instance, if you look at the image on the, on the top left, um, you don't just see one object, but rather you see the whole scene. So you perceive multiple objects, you perceive water, you perceive the, uh, the building in the background. But also when I ask you what is the object in the, uh, in the red box here, you probably have very little difficulty uh, to, to name that object, uh, even though it might be small, uh, especially for the people in the back. On the other hand, if I ask you what is the object in the bottom left, you probably have a, a much harder time understanding what this particular object is. That's basically the main question of our project. What role does visual context play in the uh, recognition of single objects? And for the purpose, uh, we created a data set um, where we handpicked a total of 672 images where our intuition told us that context was important. So basically, I wanted to ask, is context even important? Like, is, is there any form of visual context that is important for our perception of our images? And then we presented them in two conditions. So one of them was the isolated condition, where which just showed the object by itself, like in the condition in the bottom left, without any scene information. And the other, uh, the other condition was where we showed this with the full scene information. So to solve this riddle of uh, the image on the bottom left, it's actually of a snorkel. Uh, so once you see the whole scene, it probably becomes much easier to recognize what that image is. And we also found a very similar trend in uh, the, the response of our subjects. Uh, so if we presented the object with the context condition, so with the full scene, subjects were about twice as good as recognizing these objects than if you want to present them in the isolated condition. <coughs> So now that shows that there is some form of context, uh, at least for these hand-picked images, but again, these images were very extreme. So next question is obviously, what role does context play in the real world? Like if, you, if you look around in your everyday life, maybe context is only important if you have difficulty uh, with some objects and maybe not as important in the, in the very first stages of processing. And obviously another question is, uh, how does this work? Um, so one hypothesis that we have is that maybe there are some recurrent connections that integrate information between scenes and objects and vice versa. So if you're un uh, unsure about certain things, then maybe you can integrate information from everything that you've seen in the scene uh, to, to become more certain. Thanks.